Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video we're going to be talking about something from the future. So we have been talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 a lot lately, especially because it is the next big thing around the corner. We have seen renders based on real schematics and recently we have seen some of the most realistic leaks from Evan Blass that showcased what the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will most likely look like. Evan Blass is one of the big players in the leaking industry. But there is another guy known by his Twitter handle, Venya Gaskin, who is always putting out up-to-date renders based on the latest available information for a lot of popular smartphones. Well, now he has gone out and created a render of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, as you can see. The best part of this render is the lack of a fingerprint sensor on the rear. The fingerprint sensor has actually moved to the front side built in to the display under the glass at the bottom. And as you know, the fingerprint sensor location has been a cause of frustration for many S8 users and also for potential Note 8 buyers. Now, some of you may or may not know this, but Samsung had originally intended a frontal under the display fingerprint sensor, both for the S8 and the Note 8, but the technology couldn't finalize on time. So Samsung switched to plan B, which is the current S8 and the upcoming Note 8 with the rear fingerprint sensors. Companies have to have these backup plans just so they have a product to launch. But there's absolutely no reason that this fingerprint technology is not going to dominate 2018 next year. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 ends up looking very similar to what Venya Gasking was able to artfully render for us. Anyway, obviously we are a year away from the Galaxy Note 9. But in the spirit of smartphone love, I do hope that the Samsung Galaxy S9, the Note 9, and even the iPhone 9 will have fingerprint sensors that will be built into the display on the front side under the glass, which is both extremely practical and technologically attractive. Beyond the fingerprint uh, sensor location, I doubt much will change in the next year's smartphones. As you can tell, they are already quite feature rich in 2017 with things like water resistance, virtual reality capabilities, gorgeous designs, wireless charging, and all that good stuff. All that stuff is going to carry over. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Note 9, what you think Note 9 should have, and whether or not you will skip this year's smartphones for what seems to be the ultimate smartphone next year in 2018. Just drop a comment down below. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for tech updates and give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.